Don't do what I do in the children for free and the apostles. I don't understand what the Nigerian economists and the member of the government, their definition of that they are subsidizing Nigeria, Nigerians for the oil they are buying. Who is subsidizing who? The Nigerian oil industry, petroleum industry, was developed with Nigerian capital. In fact, most of the expertise are Nigerians, if you go into the field. Is Nigerian capital? Is Nigerian oil? What I understand Nigeria should charge Nigerians is the cost of one barrel at the well head, and then the cost of transportation to the refinery, the cost of refining it, and its cost at the pump. If anybody said he is subsidizing anything, he is a fraud. So what is people talking about subsidy? Who is subsidizing him? <laughs> but, but there is so much fraud, as I said, and explained correctly, that I don't talk about it. But the day I have to talk about it, I will ask the petroleum economists to come and tell me who is subsidizing Nigerians? Nigerian oil. Whose oil is it? We had four refineries with a capacity of 480,000 barrels a day. Let's see if they are in Because of corruption, they have virtually allowed those refineries you know, to become so inefficient that I don't think they produce half their capacity. Now, instead of taking the balance of what to be refined outside, to be refined outside, as we used to, when there is a turn around maintenance when I was in the trailer, how many Nigerians know? Because we negotiate with oil companies, we say, okay, Nigeria is using, say, 200,000 dollars a day. Take 200,000 dollars a day. You refine it, you bring the refined product to us, you sell the rest of things we don't need, and then you call the subsidy. Is Nigeria cool? We ask them to take a commission for, for what they have to find. But when I refine there is, we built three more refineries. It used to be one in Fort Harco. We built another one in Fort Harco, 150,000. It was over 250,000. We were 100,000. Kaduna, 100,000. And we are, that's supposed to be adequate. Now, even if you are taking 250,000 barrels to be refined outside, all you have to do is to pay the fee for this refining and you bring your own oil and sell it. And people say they are subsidizing. Who are they subsidizing? I don't understand it, and I need the petroleum economists who will explain to me this question of subsidy. It's sheer fraud and corruption.